How's it going guys? Mookie back here again. And welcome back to more Oblivion. Now in the last part we made it through the sewers. And now we're out here so we're hopefully going to escape out of this damp, disgusting place. And of course there's a goblin. There you go. Get in there. Get in that filthy water. Okay, so I'm, I'm presuming I have to go this way. Now I, I actually just uploaded the first part a few minutes ago. And I'm going the wrong way here. Um, I just recorded some Guild Wars, and I absolutely messed up the recording, but I'm going to upload what I have anyway. Which kind of sucks, because I, d I just don't know why it messes it up. It's just it's just dumb. There's no reason for it. Oh, we've got to go up the stairs now. That's, that's probably a good sign going up. I see light. I want to be out there. Okay, let's open this door. Open the gate, I should say. It's not a door. Oh, these these this sword's pretty pretty amazing. Okay, I don't need to steal any bones. Okay, what's going on here? Is this a door? Okay, it's sealed, so I won't go through there. Okay, this is this is the exit now. I do remember this. Before exiting the sewers, you may revise your character. Uh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and finish. I've done what I need to do here. I don't need to change anything. Hopefully this this series is gonna be gonna be fairly lengthy. Okay, so we're out. We came out of the sewers. Can you actually go back? You can. The red arrows on your compass shows you the direction of Wagon Priory. You can walk there by following your compass, or use the world map to travel there directly, or you can set off. Okay. Well, I don't want to explore too much just yet because I will end up getting lost because I don't remember the map at all. Look at this butterfly. But as you can see, this map is absolutely huge. Um, anyway, I need to be going this way, west. And I think the Priory is actually the place where the... When when I was playing this for the very first time, I went into the Priory and I th I, th I think there was an apple or something on the guy's table. And I stole the apple and he literally chased me for miles. Let me kill this crap. Mud crap. Literally, he chased me for miles and miles, like across the whole map just because I stole a damn apple. So, I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'm just going to talk to him, not touch anything in his house. And hopefully we can be friends this time. Now, I'm not sure how far away this is. Oblivion, to me, has always been a really fascinating game. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was the first of its type like this to be such a huge open world. And obviously Skyrim sort of tripled the size of um, what you can do, but this is just insane. For, for when this game... Because this game has been out for... I want to say 10 years, maybe a little bit more. But I remember it was always one of those games that was on the, like, like best RPG lists. It still is, but it's amazing to, to know, how like, how, how old it is and just how amazing it is. Hold on, let me, let me change my spell because I don't, I don't know why I've got the... I want flare. I missed him completely. And I missed him again. There you go. Kill those crowds. My blade skill has increased. Oh, that's good. Um, now, I'm going to presume I need to be on that side of the river, but for now, I'm just going to keep following it here. Go underwater here. I don't know how far, like, how much of the game I'm going to do. If I'm going to go. See, one thing about Blivin, I don't know how you go about doing it 100%, because I know there's a lot of slide stuff, obviously. But I'm going to do as much as I can, at least. I'm gonna try and try and make this a fairly lengthy series, like I said. What is this? This is Nurm Nurmroot plant? I recognize the spring of Nurmroot, a plant ingredient this unusual must have value. Perhaps I should bring it to an alchemist and find out a little bit more about it. An alchemist can be found in... Oh, okay. I guess some arts will do that. There you go, destruction skill increased. You find Imperial City sewers. How do I use the map? Is it... Um... I'm not sure, but I'll see. I'll, I'll work that out at some point. Is this beer? Yeah, this this is actually ale. And there's... Tan Jug? I don't want to bother going in there. Ah! Screw that, there's a bowl there. Clams? Anyway, I'm just picking up anything. <laughs> anything I find. We're on our little adventure here. It should be over there, I think. I know it's I know it's like a little town, a little outpost. 
I don't know how to use the map. I wish I, I wish I knew what the map was. That's crouch. Yeah, do you think it'd be M, but it's not. I will, I will work it out at some point. But yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain I've got to be over the other side of the river, so I'll probably swim across there in a little bit. Just so I'm on the same side at least. Whoops, get up. There's a little outpost up there, it looks like. Oh, that's, the, that's like the, the kingdom. The main city, you should say. Shame there's no boat docked here. Okay, it looks like I might go across there because that looks a little, a little bit thinner, a little narrower. And then it should be over the, the hill, I think. It's it's kind of weird of them to put you in a place where you're so far away from where you need to be, like right off the bat. But I guess it gives you a chance to explore, so it kind of makes sense. Like you get a feel for the game. But there's no, there's no like, oh my athletics closing crease, that's good. I just don't know why I did that. Uh, there's no, I was going to say there's no sort of knowing how far you are. What is that noise? I'm hearing like a, it almost sounds like a bear. I don't think it's a bear. Oh, it's a bridge. How convenient. No need to swim over after all. Could be the crabs making the noise outside. It could just be the war. You never know. This game has so many different enemies in it, you never know. Okay, let's take take the bridge. See, I'm not seeing a safe straight away. There's a tower there that's been blown up. And another little bridge here, which I'm going to take. Is that a coffin? There is potions of healing. Did not mean to do that. And a jewelry box with a ring in it. Can I wear this ring? Whoops. I, I really need to stop doing that. Um, where is it? Um, inventory. Yeah, I can't, I can't wear that. I can wear the ring though. There we go. I don't know what that did exactly, but I can wear the ring. What is that? Is that just a rock? It's like a piece of something, I don't know. But anyway, onwards, we're going west. Just keep running. Yeah, there's, there's, there's like stuff blown up here. It's like a tower. And there's another one. It looks like the, it was like bombarded or something. Who knows? Need to get into the Elder Scrolls lore a little bit. I probably would start playing Elder Scrolls Online, but um, I'll play through this first, and then I'll probably do Skyrim. The uh, the earlier games, I would like to do them, but I don't think anyone would watch, because you never hear anyone mention I mean, Morrowind, I think Morrowind is the third one. That one just gets a, a decent amount of attention. Like, people know Morrowind, but the others not so much. Here's a... I'm going to take this mushroom. And you as well. I'm not doing any alchemy or anything, but I, I do like to get the different different ingredients. There's some more here. You never know when they might come in useful. So, okay, I'm hoping we're getting close now. I hear a rat. There you are. Trying to sneak up on me. I heard it before I saw it. I mean, trying to navigate around this freaking terrain. There's too many hills and rocks. Makes things kind of difficult. See, oh, like, there's, there's places where you can't actually walk up because it's so steep. Which I think that's my athletics level will let me down there. I hope I can get over here somehow. There we go. You just gotta find like the right the right altitude for you to for you to get up it. Here's another rat just hanging out. Okay, I made it up the hill. Need to increase my athletics. Athletic skill so I can climb up steeper hills, I guess. I think that's a rat, is it? I think it's a log. 
Oh, well, I fired at it anyway. There's a rat, though. Boom. But don't miss it. That's a wolf. That was a rat. Okay, hopefully, hopefully there's no more. Come on, everyone gets this place. Figured I would be there by now, but I guess not. Just gotta enjoy endless, endless miles of... I'll take this though. Endless miles of mushrooms, rocks, trees, purple flowers, which I don't know what they are. Maybe they have a name. I don't know what the hell these are. Nope, no name, I want to attack him. I hear a rat. Your endurance is being drained. Great. I need to eat some. I've got some rat meat, I think. I think the ale. Whoops, no. Uh, do you want to? Yeah, go on then. I'll poison my sword. Might come in useful, you never know. God, why, why did they decide to put this place so far out of the way? Like, middle of nowhere. I hear it. No, that's a bird. That's a bird I'm hearing. I'm getting paranoid now. Honestly, I just want to use my sword. I want to see what the poison does. Do you want some of this, do you? Yeah, if you didn't watch my first part, you wouldn't know that my guy is actually Scottish. Okay, let me try and navigate around here. I really want to do a video today where I was kind of introducing myself more because... I've had my channel for almost a year now, but I've never really introduced myself other than the fact where I live, where I'm from. But um, I was going to do that, but I guess I'll do it tomorrow maybe. I want to do it at some point. Just trying to find the time to fit it in between doing Guild Wars, Oblivion, Minecraft stuff. I want to do another Minecraft part. I've got so much going on. Plus I work as well, so. Work all day. I'm, I'm basically... I, wake up at 5 a.m. and I record for an hour and then I head off to work and I generally try and have them uploaded at night and then I can spend the next day sort of like advertising whatever like well at least going on relevant forums and stuff and sharing my video slowly getting there but you know it's, it's hard to when you're starting out on YouTube but it looks like this is it we finally got here this place is in the middle of absolutely nowhere I just don't, I'm gonna try and resist stealing the apples. Okay, so it must be around here somewhere. I'm gonna go under here. Well, there's a church, but it says it's. I've arrived at wait, wait. What's it called? Wayne and Priory. Now I must take the amulet of kings to Jaffrey. Okay. Which he is in here, I guess. Door to Whale and Priory, so he, he will be in here. Let's see what he's got to say. Are you Joffrey? Yes. No. Nope. Can I help you? This is the guy that chased me. Uh, I'm going to speak to Joffrey. He's upstairs. Go ahead. I stole an apple right there, and he went crazy and just chased me. But uh, oh, there he is. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? The Emperor sent me to find Emperor you. Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? I was there when he... Now I'm going to say he gave me the Amulet of Kings. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. So give him the Amulet. Nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Tell the Emperor's last words. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Um, who is the Prince of Destruction? The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. How could Oblivion threaten us, then? I'm not sure. 
Only the emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The amulet of kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. The emperor asked me to find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. Where can I find you, your son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvac, south of here. You must go to Kvac and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. What about the apples on the table? Can I have that? Yeah, okay, I don't need, I don't need him to... I'll talk about Martin, I guess. He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kavach. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. I'm it will looking. be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. Assistance? I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Well, that's nice of you. Um, okay, where's his chest? What's this? Is this garlic? Why does he have a bowl of garlic? Got some books here. On Marwin. Can I take these? No. I want... Oh, you read them. Okay, I don't want to bother reading those. Somebody help! Come quickly! We've got a burglar! Oh, God, are you serious right now? Are you serious? Okay, I'm out of here. Don't don't tell me he's gonna fall. I can't believe that. <laughs> That's insane. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go south. I hope he's not gonna come out and fall. I don't think he is. I don't even know what I took. It was some kind of glass thing, but I don't know what the hell it was. See, that's what happened. I took the apple from the table and he just went crazy and started chasing me. Like, it was literally running behind me the whole way. To be fair, he said help, help myself to the chest, but I guess he, he didn't mean the shelves as well. I'm going to end this part off here anyway, guys, because we, we, we've been walking for quite some time. I'm going to save it right here. Okay, so when we come back, we will go down to that town in the south, and um, we'll find his son, so hopefully he doesn't remember, when I bring him back, hopefully he doesn't remember that I stole the glass thing, because that would mess things up. But uh, we'll, we'll do that next time, hopefully tomorrow, so hope you enjoyed this video, guys, until next time, see ya!